The permaculture course at Lost Valley seeks to prepare students for life as best lived, both in the modern sense and in the ancient sense, because permaculture is really a combination of those things. So I think of permaculture as a broad umbrella. It holds both the design science and approach to creating permanent agriculture, and also as a movement that includes diverse groups of people who are creating resilient, sustainable communities all across the world. I've been farming and gardening and living on homesteads for a number of years, and I've learned a lot, but I really was hoping to get more of an in-depth educational experience in permaculture. Lost Valley is a really cool place to take a permaculture course because there's all these different examples of somewhat mature and maturing permaculture systems from the different fruit trees and nut trees and different plantings to the water harvesting systems and uh, ponds and swales. They really have a lot of good examples to learn from on the ground here. And at the top of this watershed, a drop of rain that hit that watershed might not get to this point. It might take years. I've wanted to do a permaculture design course for a long time and had kind of been looking around at different options, but the PDC at Lost Valley really jumped out at me because it worked with my schedule and it was really affordable and through talking with folks in my community had learned that a lot of people had great experiences. So a nice feature about the permaculture course at Lost Valley is the accessibility for students. That's partly because of the schedule which meets only one day per week for 12 weeks in a row. So folks who have a working life can add this in if they have that one day per week available. It's also a half an hour from the Eugene Springfield area, so it's close enough to be easy to get to uh, for a full day's class, but also far enough away that it feels like it's a trip into the countryside to an 87-acre nature sanctuary. And finally, the price is accessible. Uh, it's a lower price than most courses you'd find elsewhere because uh, there's no food and lodging involved and the student just pays for the instruction itself. I really enjoyed the diversity of instructors throughout the course. There were guest instructors that came in and were able to offer their expertise and their own specific niches of the work that they do. All botanical family names end in this ending right here. There's nothing quite as exciting as teaching somebody about a plant in the classroom and then having a chance to go outside and eat that plant. Whether it's an unusual berry they didn't know before, a wild green, or sometimes we get to harvest medicinal plants and tincture them. This is tall Oregon grape. So this is one of a number of native Oregon grape species. Having the experience of connecting with a plant, putting it in your body, tasting it, feeling it, smelling it, creates a great connection point for people to really deeply understand the plant. In the course, each class day has a different main focus. One class is on the permaculture ethics and principles, the basics. Another is on design, how to actually do design in permaculture, which will get used for permaculture group designs that get presented in the final week. There are also days that focus on water, animals in the system, plants, energy, appropriate technology, natural building. We just had the forestry day at the permaculture design course at Lost Valley Center. All of the light that you allow to fall onto the one that you leave is going to increase its ability to grow even further. And so all of that light translates into more wood. We can come back into relationship with the forest, and the forest can come back into relationship with us. There's a lot to learn. If something required daily attention, we're going to want to put it closer into the center of human activity. If it requires little or no attention, we're going to want to put it farther out from the center of human activity. One of the best aspects of the course that I've experienced from the teacher's side is that the planners of the course are always refining the curriculum. They're always taking feedback from students and always working hard to make it a better experience year after year. My name is Brian. I'm the lead teacher in the permaculture program here at Lost Valley, and I see myself as more of a facilitator helping other people 
come into their own power, their own ideas, their own solutions. You can see the existing trees and also the butterfly bush that we want to keep are still here in green. Through taking this course, I got a lot of great insight into what really excites and inspires me and the work that I want to be doing in the world. I think that taking a class here at Lost Valley, taking a permaculture design course, can really set you on the trajectory of what your life's purpose is. It's a very exciting feeling to be planting trees that your grandkids could be eating food from, be sustained by. This is our opportunity. This is what we're excited about. This is what we love. So come on out. Come play in the forest.